Hey guys, it's Renee here from Rev Evolution. I'm just going to be charging the all new BMW i4. And I thought while I'm getting the car charged, why don't you do a real quick episode on EV jargons, all right? As you know, right now in Singapore, with a lot of electric vehicles being sold, there's some of you who might not be familiar with some of the terms that uh, you might hear, all right? So we thought we'd do a real quick episode to kind of give you more information about all those jargons being used. And the first and the most easiest, of course, which you probably heard, is the word EV. And what is EV? It is electric vehicle, just like the i4. And, and with an EV, it runs totally 100% on electric power or battery power. And the next term we're going to talk about is HEV or hybrid electric vehicle. And what is a hybrid electric vehicle? Well, hybrid electric vehicle runs on both the power of a battery as well as a, an engine. All right. So in, in some of the cases like the car, for example, the Toyota Prius, that's your HEV or hybrid electric vehicle. And the next one we're going to talk about is PHEV or plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Well, that's almost similar to your hybrid vehicle. But the only difference is the fact that in this case, you can actually charge your battery instead of letting the car charge it for you. And in, and in most cases, the PHEV actually gives you better range. And now let's talk about some of the terms that you might hear as well. KW or kilowatts. Well, kilowatts is the power output of a battery that's putting out for the car and kwh is the energy capacity of the battery itself all right and the next term uh, not really so much related to you know electric vehicles but i thought i'd just throw it in for the heck of it ice stands for internal combustion engine well that's basically your normal petrol driven car and now let's talk about charging there's uh, basically two types of charging when you charge your cars there's ac charging and dc charging Okay, so AC charging is basically when you charge your car at most locations, uh, it runs from something like 7 kilowatts to maybe 10 or 20 kilowatts. And how that works is when you charge your vehicle, uh, when you plug it in, it, there's actually, your car actually needs to convert the power from alternating current to DC or direct current. So um, in this case, it actually takes a while longer for you to charge your car. In case from 0 to 80, it might take you between maybe 7 to 8 hours, all right? So that's a little longer if you're using AC charging. And the next charging station, next charging type is basically DC charging, which is the one I'm actually using to charge the i4. And with DC charging, so instead of the car doing the conversion of alternating to direct current, the DC current is being pumped directly or changed directly from the charging station itself, which means that by me plugging it into the car, it's actually charging the battery directly. And for right now, if I'm charging my car, it will go from 0 to 80 in between maybe uh, less than an hour. Actually, That's really fast, okay? So, well, I guess that kind of covers all the EV jargons or electric vehicle jargons that you might be coming across if you're planning to buy an EV. That's Ray here, signing off.